Ronald, first of all, I'd like to start by asking you about yesterday. Um, obviously, a, a very good and important day for the club with the opening of the Marcus Lieber Pavilion. From your point as the first team manager, how did it go? Yeah, it's very good. I think it was uh, it was great to uh, to do the official ceremony because we are already uh, a lot of time. Uh, that feels that that's our own home ground to have sessions every day, and uh, it's great facilities. I think that uh, makes the job more easier, and uh, it was great for uh, for Katarina because uh, all is done by her father, and uh, it was a great day, and uh, it was nice to be there. It was one of those days where it feels like the whole club came together, really, didn't it? Seeing the ownership, the directors, the players, the staff, everybody enjoying what was quite a, a momentous time for the club. Yeah, but but sometimes you think uh, it's it's an easy way, but but. They show the video as well. It's, uh, it was a long way to, to have these kind of facilities, and uh, and that was fantastic because that it's important for the first for the academy, but also for important for the first team. Looking ahead then to this weekend's game, um, last week was very physically testing, I assume, for your players. You gave them a couple of days off at the start of the week. How have they come back? Are they looking sort of well refreshed and well rested? Yeah, we had a good uh, good uh, week of, of training. Uh, yesterday we had a, a tough day, a tough physical uh, session, but but they recover well and, uh, and they they keep the spirit. And uh, we look forward uh, for this Saturday because I heard uh, the stadium will be full, uh, no tickets anymore uh, to sell, and, and that will be a great day. I was going to ask you about that, actually. Um, the first home sellout that we've had this season, the first time you'll be able to experience a, a full St Mary's, I assume that's something that you're looking forward to? Yes, of course, because that, uh, that means a lot for the players, that means uh, a lot of supporting, and uh, always we need that. And uh, to, be, uh, to feel comfortable at home, that's important. And uh, the fans uh, show that every game, but, but still for this Saturday more, because it's the first time that we sold out. You spoke before the last couple of international breaks about how important it is from your point of view to, to finish on a positive result and, and that's something obviously you couldn't do before the last one with that defeat at Tottenham. So how keen are you to avoid that and to get that positive result going into the next two-week break? Yeah, like always, uh, what I said before, uh, we go game to game and, and, and to prepare ourselves uh, on a good way and, and uh, we know it's a different one. It's uh, a different opponent uh, who's maybe a little bit struggling uh, to get the points, but but maybe they were, went a little bit unlucky last week. And uh, it's a tough one, it's a difficult one because uh, the expectation uh, is very high. And, and, and OK, uh, we spoke about this uh, this morning, that, that came by game and, and don't focus you on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the position on the table, focus you on your qualities in the way of playing. I think that's the most important. And then normally you can win that game. How have the players responded to that, that message of, of staying focused? Because this is probably the game where you've been the biggest favourites really this season. You are, you know, odds on probably to, to win this match. Do you sense in the players that they share your determination not to look at that side of things? No, we, we have to live with uh, maybe a little bit different uh, uh, time than, than the beginning of the season when everybody was a little bit afraid uh, how the team was doing. But now the expectations are high and normally the people expect three points on this Saturday. But, but the players know that uh, the Premier League is not an easy one. Every game you have to work hard for a good result and, uh, and we have to play good and we, we like to play good football. Because if we play good football, that means that we are, have more chances to win the game. A couple of players that I wanted to ask about were, were Jack Cork and Victor Wanyama. Um, both on three goals now, which has been pretty unprecedented in their careers. But it's often that you choose one or the other. How hard is it to come to that decision? No, it's always difficult because uh, there is no a lot of difference between the players on the midfield. And uh, sometimes it's, it's a tactical question. Sometimes it's uh, a question about uh, which one is... is is on the moment a little bit better than the other one, but 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 I don't talk about uh, only about Victor or Jack. But we have more midfield players, and we have real good competition between them. And, and I'm proud of the midfielders because they score a lot. Uh, Wajama scored two times in 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 a one nil game. That that means a lot, and, and and I'm happy about all the midfield players. But sometimes. 
one is a little bit more disappointed who will not start on Saturday or in the game, but, but that's a part of the job. Do they take that generally pretty well? It seems like quite a, a good squad for that in that when someone does miss out, they seem always quite determined to, to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah, that's true, but 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 the, the same uh, is, for example, for, for Maya Yoshida, who started the season well uh, in, in a good begin of the season, but but uh, all the world came, uh, Florian Carlos came, it's always a difficult situation. I was ex-football player, I understand that, that kind of problems, because uh, that's difficult for the players, but, but all of them acting on a very good professional way, and they, they know that... that you can't uh, play the Premier League with 11 players. You need everybody and, and lucky that we don't have a lot of injuries uh, and, and we can't play uh, normally with, with the best team and we don't make a lot of changes. Uh, and, and, and that's going well because that, that's the reason that we are up in the list. Another thing that probably won't have escaped your attention is the fact that your top goal scorer, Graziano Pella, is on four yellow cards now. Um, obviously, if he gets one more, he will be suspended, and I think that runs up until the end of December, the cut-off point for that. Do you tell him to, to change his approach to games, or do you just tell him to carry on as he is, and, and if that comes, it comes? No, I should always tell my players, don't uh, yellow cards are, are part of the job for a football player, but don't take and don't, and don't do stupid things. That, that, that's the question. But I'm not agree with the rules, uh, because... Uh, in my opinion, yellow cards has to be in the Premier League, but but they count as well uh, the yellow cards in the in the League Cup one in the Capital One Cup, and 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 if you reach on to the final, you have more opportunities, you have more possibilities to get more yellow cards, and and not agree, uh, I don't agree that rule because that means uh, for the teams who did not reach in the, league, the Capital One Cup that 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 they. Have, that they don't have that kind of risk in yellow cards. And, and, and that's, that's the question. Very true. Um, just finally then, in terms of your team selection, any, any new fitness concerns to report or is everyone looking good for this weekend? No, every t everybody's looking uh, good for the weekend. Uh, still, we have tomorrow the last one, the last session for Saturday, but, but I expect the same group as, uh, as last week. I think um, I think it's absolutely fitting that it's it's called the Marcus Lieber Pavilion, and I think that uh, it, it is a reflection of the philosophy that he came here with. 